Had a great discussion last week with the former director of the Initiative to Reduce Gun Violence in Toledo, Jawan Armour. We talked just a couple of days after he resigned his position, the official reason being that he wants to be closer to family down near Columbus, although he did talk on our program about the feeling that at times support for the Cure of Violence initiative was um, somewhat fickle. And I wondered how the entire experience had affected his feelings for and in his views of Toledo. You know, my view of Toledo is the same. You know, I love, I love Toledo. You know, my, my, and again, you know, I pride myself on the relationships that I've, that I've created in Toledo, the relationships that individuals have created with me. And, and all these relationships are genuine, right? They don't expect, you know, anything other than um, integrity from me and I, I expect the same from them. And so, you know, my viewpoint is, has never changed. It's never wavered. Um, and I just enjoy the fact that knowing that, you know, everybody that came out to support this cause, they pulled their weight. You know what I mean? It wasn't just our particular uh, program. It was all those individuals that we were able to partner with. Carrie Sarabia, RFS Tackle, to, to one of those, Dr. Durant, TPS. Yeah. You know, we had some outstanding partnerships, outstanding programs, and these were all relationships that were already established prior to me moving back to Toledo. Some of these relationships date back to, you know, high school plan days and such as Dr. Durant. Um, yeah. And so, you know, it was just awesome. It was an awesome experience. And, and with numbers going down our area, I look at that as lives being saved especially when it, it consistently trended up since 2017. This was the first year that there was a decrease and that decrease was large. It was 66%. Yeah. And so that, in my mind, our lives being saved and we'll continue that effort. Whatever I can, I'll still do the work. What's next for Juwan Armour? Um, I don't know. Right now, I'm just uh, getting, my, getting my feet back on the ground and just enjoying life right now. But again, I'll continue all of the partnerships uh, in Toledo that have been created over the next year. Um, I, I'll be in Toledo today, uh, meeting with Tanya Duran for the Midnight Basketball League and also Alan Richardson, All In Academy. Uh, so I'll continue to partner and continue to build out. You know, there was issues uh, with dollars. I, 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 I requested to start a football league for whatever reason. And uh, fortunately, the Tesla League has brought me in to, to assist them and create this atmosphere. You have to look at it like this, Jerry. There's no team sport bigger than football when it comes to engaging young men, right? Mm -hmm. Young black men. Football is the biggest team sport. So if we can impact the lives of these lives of these kids, not just in regards to football, but in, in regards to life skills, in regards to decision making, it, it, it creates a, 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 a tremendous change in culture. And so I'm thankful for the Tesla League for bringing me on uh, because this was something I wanted to create with the city. It fell short. And so now I'm able to do it, um, helping out the Tesla League. And I'm extremely excited about that. It is very exciting. My thanks to Juwan Armour for chatting with us. And I'll be right back.